Now, not for nothing, the Granola arc and the Moro arc in the Dragon Ball Super manga were definitely something, and right now I wanted to go on ahead and present the hypothetical battle of having Granola with both of his Cerulean eyes unlocked, and now being faced off against what seemingly might be one of Granola's toughest opponents ever, and not for nothing right now, this is actually something that I don't know how well Granola is going to do me the due diligence of getting rid of Moro, because I think that Moro right now has a lot more health than my character does, but either way, I've said this since day one, I've actually said this ever since Granola had gone in making the wish that he made back in 2021, and I've always liked the Moro arc so much more than the Granola arc. I felt as though the Granola arc definitely had room to improve and to kind of give us everything that we've been asking for in terms of what we've been missing from the Moro arc, and I really do feel as though they've dropped the ball on that one. Look at Granola go. I definitely think that I'm going to end up beating Moro right now, because if I, if I don't, then that's going to be a big problem. So let me know down below. Hypothetically speaking, of course, if we did have a concept to where it was full-powered Granola after making his wish versus a hypothetical fully mastered Ultra Instinct Moro 7-3, not for nothing, I think that the advantage would definitely be in Moro's favor, because all Moro would really have to do is simply sneak up behind Granola and copy him, and that's essentially it. So I love the overall battle setting right now because not for nothing, I think that when it comes down to hacks, Moro got it because all Moro really needs to do is just eat up the planet's energy. He could just simply copy Granola, but at the end of the day, realistically speaking, I think that this fight would probably favor Granola a lot considering the fact that, of course, he's a sniper, he would have oatmeal to his advantage, so I actually dragged out Moro out of here because I want to have like that forest like fight setting like we did in the manga. So in the comment section below, let me know, are you guys for Team Moro or are you guys for Team Granola? And also, let me know down below as to which arc you guys preferred. This, thank God, my mic is positioned in a way to where you don't hear all of the clicking and clacking right now because not for nothing, I am getting a little nervous because I think that this version of Moro is really, really going to give me a hard time. As a matter of fact, I think that I might lose this because I know that my character right now is at a significant disadvantage. And not for nothing, I think that something like this would bound to be, you know, the case in point, especially if Moro were to master, hence the word Master Ultra Instinct, and not turn into that giant blob monster that we saw at the end of the Moro arc, right? So let me go on ahead. Oh, am I gonna? Yeah, there we go. Look at this. See, not for nothing, I can see something like this happening, but at the end of the day, I feel as though Moro, if he does get desperate enough, he's just gonna copy him, or he's gonna eat the planet's energy, and I love the fact that we're shooting, literally, we're shooting Moro's asshole as he's turning around right now. So, again, let me know, and in terms of, like, preferences for the manga, let me know as well, because I, I think that a lot of people are going to say that they side with the Moro arc only because of said reasons, some people are going to say, hey, I enjoyed the Granola arc that much more, even though the fight involving gas was literally dragged on for months and months and months. You know, we actually had flashback chapters, which I think, I mean, to a degree, depending on who you ask, wasn't really needed. But oh boy, no, this isn't good. Oh, this isn't good. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to be very careful because like I told you guys right now, like both of these versions of Granola and Moro are very different when it comes down to stats. So, I, I just think that, you know, even with Oatmeal's assist, I don't think Amoro can really do much if Granola is aiming for the crystal on his forehead, if he's aiming for his vital spots, because that could be a big problem. But at the same time, I think that a lot of people forget that Moro, I think as an entity, objectively speaking, just, you know, possesses a lot more abilities and tactics that Granola really wouldn't think of using during the course of battle, such as eating energy to basically grow stronger and copying individuals so even if let's just say if granola were to shoot out multiple key blasts at moro moro can just simply eat it and call it a day right oh i love this version of granola dude he he fights so well that you have to give it up to the modded community because on this channel we've been doing like all of the most random battles and stuff and right now as i'm just shooting oh damn as I'm just, I was just shooting all those key blasts. I, I could see the case in point actually being to where Granola just fires multiple sniper shots after sniper shots. But my only question is, would Moro be able to eat the sniper shots? You know what I mean? Because we've seen him eat the Kamehameha. We've seen him eat the Gallic Gun. We've seen him eat, I mean, many things before. After becoming Moro 7-3, I don't recall there ever being a moment where 
Moro went on to just eat someone's, you know, uh, like energy attack or whatnot. But either way, I, I really wouldn't rule that outside of the realm of possibility, especially in this case right now. So this is actually, uh, I'm actually getting really, really nervous because I, yeah, this fight is definitely, th this fight right now is a lot longer. Oh, we got him. Is a lot longer than I thought it would be. But if I can finish him off right now, oh, he actually survived that. Dude, I mean, and, and that was one of the detriments, I think, to Moro, because he was the first... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. We've awakened our Sorelian eye. Now you're screwed, goat man. And that's the thing about, like, Moro. He was the first Ultra Instinct-wielding enemy in the series that was able to oppose Ultra Instinct Goku with Ultra Instinct, right? Because Jiren didn't have Ultra Instinct, Broly didn't have Ultra Instinct, but Moro did. And the only downside to him was the fact that he wasn't able to control himself, he wasn't able to basically just hone the power and, and just control it and hone it and just keep it in his body, and then he just ended up becoming a blob monster and that was the end of that, it was just trash. So, Granola, on the other hand, I mean, much more appreciative when it comes down to direction, I suppose, or at least planning things out. Why won't this dude just die? This is like really bothering me. And by the way, if you guys want to go on ahead and support the channel and support all of the content, the fan mangas, the custom Dragon Balls Universe 2 mods, art pieces, PNGs, and all that stuff, if you guys want to be able to gain access to all of that, then I do encourage you guys to support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash Gaming. Link will be located down in the description box below and in the pinned comment section. You guys have no idea how far that actually goes to help us. So all of your contributions, everything you guys donate and, you know, you know, just contribute on Patreon is going to go towards making more content. So please go on ahead and consider doing that because I'm telling you all right now, it really, really would go a long way because I'm actually considering on hiring a few animators to do this fight right here. I swear to God, my hands are so sweaty right now because I do not want to lose this. And I honestly, I'm sorry, I think I'm going to lose this. Because Moro is not showing any signs of slowing down. And I am trying to do my best to just hang in here. So, again, I do agree. I greatly appreciate just all of the support and would recommend and encourage you guys to simply go on ahead and check us out on Patreon. Take a look at all of the uh, tier lists. I mean, just have a good read and uh, just see what you can get from all the perks. It does go a long way. So, let me go on ahead and try to put an end to him. I want to see, I'm going to try to, I'm, I'm just going to try to blast him because if I have any means of unleashing my ultimate, I think one or two more ultimates and he should be gone. But then again, I'm a little fearful because I think that Granola here, damn, we got him close, close, close range right there. I think Granola's in danger. So, I mean, either way, we're, we're talking about a master magician versus, I mean, I would dare say a master sniper in this case. So, I think the sniper would be able to take it if oatmeal is still a thing and if he's able to awaken his Sorelian eye. But then again, if Moro's at peak MUI and if he's able to use Ultra Instinct very, very, you know, I guess you could say well enough to where he doesn't collapse, this would be a dangerous and very bloody fight. So, uh, somebody's got to fall. Somebody's got to fall. It's either going to be me or him because I don't know how far this is going to go, but at the same time, what I'm also curious about... Oh, we actually got him on that one. That was a perfect... Oh, we got him! Granola wins! Dude, that was a good fight. Yo, that was a really good fight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down below on, you know, said topics in which we have discussed. And with that said, I'll be seeing each and every single one of you down in the comment section below and in the next video. Take it easy, guys, and have a great day. Peace!